trench mob testimonies where we dive into how your test became your testimony. Yeah, you left Georgia since you you went to school there. You know, just kind of looking back on it, man. You you six one, two hundred forty five pound. You know, linebacker slash defensive end. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you go to Georgia. Um, and you have a remarkable um, senior year. I mean, you started thirteen games, first team All Conference, forty one tackles, ten and a half sacks, three forced fumbles. And you win the Sugar Bowl and you get the MVP in the Sugar Bowl. I remember watching that game, but you went crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so just kind of looking back on that, man, how, how was your years at UGA, man, playing, you know, outside back or the DN, you know, and h- how did you get adjusted uh, from going from that outside backer position to that true hand in the ground, hand in the dirt defensive end? Man, you know, um, UGA, man, this it was it was a treat, man. It was a pleasure, man, coming from um, South Carolina. Uh, from a high school called Hannah Hannah Two A School, man, just just coming up here playing some real football, you know. Um, shit, we don't have, you know, the biggest football we had down in South Carolina was four A. So I got, you know, what I'm saying, so I got the UGA, man. It, it was it was a big adjustment, man. Um, but I loved every moment of it. The reason why I moved from linebacker to the end was because she was like. You know, it was hard. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. You know, what I'm saying that's all I can say. It was hard, man. I had a I had a, D, a linebacker coach who was the D coordinator, also by the guy named Brian Van Gorder. I don't know if you ever met him, but um, man, he was tough, man. He demanded a lot on you, a, a lot from you. And um, at the time I got to school, I was seventeen. You know, I didn't turn eighteen till October, so that shit was. I mean, my it was just going over my in and out my head. You feel me? So I had, you know, he left. Um. And uh, another coach came in, and uh, they already had plans to move me, so I moved and I just embraced it.